you know, this isn't about the healthcare system, it's about social determinants, it's about income. And that actually the healthcare system is a major regressive vehicle. It's making a lot of people very rich and a lot of people very poor. And so it's actually working to worsen the health of our population uh, from a macroeconomic uh, point of view. I mean, that's one reason why, for God's sakes, don't put more money into this. Um, because you're, you're, you're ruining, you're encouraging even um, uh, more stratification. Disease and illness does not distribute itself equally throughout the population. It, it remarkably distributes itself in a very uneven pattern, which is disproportionately affects the poor and the disenfranchised. And it isn't because they have less access to uh, medical facilities and medical care. It's because of all kinds of other confounding variables that go into that. Uh, the life expectancy, as, uh, as you know, of black men living in the ghettos of Philadelphia or New York City is about equal to the life expectancy of men in Bangladesh. So I think one has to address that right from the very beginning. If you want a healthy society, you cannot have great inequities of wealth and poverty within that society. There's a wonderful pie chart that you have probably seen called the determinants of health. Only 10% have anything to do with interaction with the U.S. medical system. We're extraordinarily good at turning a blind eye on all the social conditions that drive people into the healthcare system in the first place. And then once they're there, we ride in on the back end with all sorts of extraordinarily expensive technology and save them. But we don't, we have a system that doesn't try to prevent our people be, from becoming socially and metabolically bankrupt. Uh, that's wrong, it's not sustainable, it's not good for the nation, and it's not really what this nation is all about. I mean, this, this nation was founded on the promise of opportunity. Uh, and for an increasing number of people, uh, the opportunity of upper mobility simply doesn't exist. To do this is gonna take, I believe, a political answer. I do not believe that this system will in some way self-correct that you will see Medicare change because costs have gotten too high, that you'll see commercial uh, insurance change because premiums are too high. I don't think that'll happen. You'll see a growing number of people who don't have health insurance. You'll see them flood our emergency rooms. Uh, it will drive costs in state government to the point that we can't fund other needed programs such as education, public safety, and the judiciary. Uncontrolled health care costs are now driving most state budgets.